Every single problem that we have, every good thing, every bad thing, everything that humankind has ever done ultimately came from the spark of an idea in a single consciousness. Life is an emotional mirror. It's an emotional mirror. If you put yourself in the emotional state where the prayer has already been answered, then you attract that reality to yourself. You try to say that to people and they say, oh, this is all new age stuff. And no, it's not. You know, your life itself is a prayer. There's an electromagnetic conversation going on between you and reality that a lot of people don't understand is going on. And when I changed my perspective and I realized that it's an emotional mirror, like even how I got the job as a radio host, I figured it would be good to be a radio host because I'd be able to get this information out to people. I didn't even know about internet radio, didn't know about any of that stuff. And I had this meditation. I realized everything is an emotional mirror. So I simply put myself in the emotional state where I was a radio host. It's just like, uh, what would it be like to be with your perfect partner? Put yourself in the emotional state. How would that actually feel to be with your perfect partner? You put yourself in that state and that person will walk into your life. And that's what I did. I put myself in the emotional state where I was a radio host. And within six weeks, I was offered a job as a radio host by someone completely random. Didn't do anything at all, but just put myself in the emotional state. So it's that same thing. And since then, I give unconditionally. I give when my intuition tells me to give. Or sometimes I'll buy the shopping of the person next door to me because my intuition tells me I need to buy this person's groceries. I did that one time and this woman burst into tears. She said it was her. She was down to her last $20. She's never had anyone do anything so kind to her. I'd restored her faith in humanity. And this sort of stuff happens. And because I give to people unconditionally, the universe has provided this life for me. It's given me this place. It's given me the ability to be able to continue this message. This is how it works. And I'm not saying anything, oh, look, I'm this wonderful giving person, so I'd be rich. This is, no, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just talking about it, how it's an emotional mirror. If you give with no stake in the outcome, don't give because you want the universe to give back to you. Don't give because you think it's cool. Don't give because you want people to perceive you as being a giving person. Just listen to your intuition. Sometimes the best giving you can do to people is not giving to them, letting them heal themselves. That's the best thing you can give them sometimes. You've got to listen to your intuition and be aware that this electromagnetic conversation is going on between you and reality. It's all coming from your heart, this energy generator of your heart. I look at the body as this quantum instrument and the heart being the power source and the brain being the quantum instrument that turns possibility into actuality depending on the input it gets from the heart. And the heart is the emotional input that it sends to your brain. This is what creates your reality and it's a mirror. And since I started operating my life that way, everything has fallen into place and my life just seems to work. And even if bad stuff comes along to me now, it's not bad stuff. It's just a new part of the journey. It's just a new lesson for me to learn. There's a reason for it to happen. Congrats. You watched the whole video. Looks like this video is your cup of tea. Then consider watching another video. Give like to the video, comment your thoughts down and share to spread the word. Please subscribe to the channel to support and watch more videos. Keep inspiring.